Hey everybody! Welcome to the Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome all my new subscribers. I am doing another car vloggy today. I'm actually heading over to my mom's house um, and I'm going to take her out because we're going to go to the Rancho Market and we're doing we're gonna get some stuff for menudo menudo is a like if you don't know what menudo is it is a like a mexican soup kind of i guess it is a soup yeah it's got hominy in it and some tripe and then you put uh you dress it up with um lemon juice um cilantro um a chilito um, and all kinds of good stuff. Mm, it's kind of like pozole. Yeah, it's like pozole, but but not. Minus the pozole part. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. And um, guess what? I am so freaking excited, people. So freaking excited. My lips look like they're like... I put some lip gloss on today and it, you know, it's kind of a clary kind of lip gloss because I didn't really want a lot of color. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways, um, as I was saying, I'm so freaking excited, you guys, because by the time you see this vlog, I'll probably be either back already or coming back on an airplane um, I am probably at this minute while you're watching this I am in Vienna Austria I am so excited I'm kind of scared and excited at the same time I don't know I've never been out of the country before and um, you know we've got our passports and I don't even know what to take and oh my god I haven't packed yet um, so I'm like, wow, I think it's going to be snowy there because it gets kind of cold. It gets pretty cold, I guess, in Austria. Um, isn't that where Arnold Schwarzenegger's from? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, pump you up. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like that impression? Uh, yeah, probably not. I'm a horrible impressionist. Oh, some things I can impre impersonate. But man, they're doing so much construction over here in our in our place. Anyways, um, I am so freaking excited, you guys! So excited! I just, you know, want to like ah! I, I'm like so excited! Ah! I don't even know how to act. I don't even know what to say. Cause uh, yeah. I'm excited about the food and the, uh, you know, all the stuff they're going to be, there is there to eat. And, um, I hope my, you know what my, my, my biggest thing is, is because a cup, I don't know if you guys saw my video where I had, um, issues with my stomach. Well, one, one of the issues was that I had to get my gallbladder out. Uh, not because I had stones, but because it was not functioning at all. My gallbladder just stopped. And I was having really, really bad stomach issues. I mean, it was horrible. and But it was, like, so bad. And so uh, I had to get it out. But no stones. Isn't that odd? But anyways, who cares? Anyways. Um, the, anyways, uh I'm afraid of, of, of eating this stuff because since I've had my gallbladder surgery, like everything, almost everything that I eat, like goes right through me, like right through me. Um, it's like, uh, holy cow, you know, it's like I have to be by a bathroom, TMI, but who cares, right? We're in my car and we're like you know, mono mono, right? Anyways, I everything I eat it just passes right through me like like water. Um, and you would think that I'd be losing weight, but I'm not. Maybe it's because I eat too much. Anyways, that's here or near there. But 
<laughs> I'm just scared because I'm like thinking, oh my god, what if I have to go to the bathroom? We're somewhere. We gotta go to the bath. I'm like those commercials. You know those commercials you see on TV where gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. <laughs> but the other kind of gotta go. Anyways, if you have those issues, so I don't feel alone. I am not alone. I am here with you. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, it's like, oh my God, am I gonna like have those issues while I'm there? Probably. So I'm gonna try to take a lot of Metamucil. This is kind of a crappy video. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Crappy. Yeah. Anyways, um, so anyways, uh, uh, I'm just right now, probably when you're watching this, I'm probably like having fun or cold or not having fun. I don't know. I'm hoping. I don't know what to expect. I have no idea. None. None. My um, husband's aunt is going to meet us there. She's going to be in a different hotel than we are and also his niece. Um, and his niece, uh, his, his mom, her mom, uh, passed away not too long ago, a few months ago, when we had to go to the funeral, but so she, you know, and this is her, the daughter of my husband's, uh, my husband's sister. So, but anyways, we're all going to be there, you know. And it'll be fun because my his aunt Marie is like oh my god you guys she is an interior professional to the max been on magazines um, front cover magazines with her work with her artistry of of um, of uh, interior decorating she is fantastic um, oh my god god um so she uh <laughs> so she's going with us and she travels all over the world i'm so jelly belly but uh anyways she's been there several several times so she's coming with us so that she's gonna meet us there um right now she's in croatia i think doing a big job or i don't know i think she's in croatia yeah and anyways uh right now as we speak not when you're watching this probably with us but um she's been there several times so she's gonna be our tour guide and yeah so she's gonna show us all the cool places she's gonna be like that guy you know that guy that you watch on on the channel the travel channel you know uh and so we'll, we're gonna go to the really neat places and stuff i'm so excited uh, 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 uh. Anyways, yesterday my husband and I went to go get some uh, stocking stuffers for the grandkids. Holy cow, we spend a lot of money on stocking stuffers. Just on stockings stuffers alone. We spend a lot of money. Um, and it's like, oh my god. But, but we, but you know, it's like, you either the grandkids always come to my house we always have a really big Christmas party at our house um, so and then I hang all the stockings on the on the uh, banister of the stairs and uh, they all have their names you know their initials on them so they and I do it from youngest to oldest so um, yeah and uh, this year I inherited two new uh, two new uh, grandkids they're not really technically my grandkids but they're they're my daughter's uh, live-in boyfriend kids um, she is six and he is two three so uh, yeah so I you know I I have them call me grandma, whatever, whatever. And so I, I inherited two new grandchildren. Yay! 
congratulations for the grandkids. Anyways, um, so I have to go and buy them. Um, I bought them with the Christmas stockings, stuffing stuff, but I have to go get them the, the, the stocking. I usually go to like Bed Bath & Beyond because they have the really cute stockings with the initials on them that are, you know, I like the ones that have the initials and then it's got some like um, little sparkly beading on it. It's They're so pretty. I know, but you know what? I don't let them take the stocking. I put the stocking up and then I buy them a faux stocking. And then I stuff that stocking in the stocking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> a stocking in a stocking. <laughs> because the stockings that I get are real expensive. So I keep them every year. And inside the stocking, there's another fake Dollar Tree stocking that I stuff with the stuff in the stuff. That way I can, you know, it's just it's just better for me that way because I don't have to buy the expensive stockings every year. <laughs> um, you know, I put all their favorite stuff in there. You know, their favorite chips, um, stuff. Keep track of what they like, what they don't, you know, what each child likes. Appropriate age. My oldest grandson is, I think, is he 17 or 18? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how old he is. Mm. But and he's going off to the Marines. He's in he is a uh senior in high school and um he works part-time um at a place as a like a bus boy and uh Culver's, I believe. He, he works at Culver's. And then um, he's, uh, and then, but then he goes and he trains with the Marines to, uh, at their place, you know, the Marine little sub thing they have. And um, so he's getting ready to be, go to boot camp after he gets out of high school. I'm sad. I'm really sad because I am afraid. I'm so scared that, you know, something's gonna happen and I don't want that to happen. I don't, you guys pray for my grandson. He's a beautiful guy, beautiful young man, beautiful kid. He gets good grades. He's got a really cute girlfriend and she's going off to when, when she graduates from school, they're gonna graduate at the same time. Um, she's going off to, I think it's Flagstaff or Tucson. I'm not really sure which one she said. Oh my gosh, I don't know if she's coming over for Christmas. I don't know if I should make her a stocking. Oh no. Maybe I should make her a, just a stocking. Maybe I should. Okay, I think I will. Anyways, she's uh, she's going for uh, I don't know what she, business. I think so. They're gonna go off their separate ways, and um, you know, it's sad. I I I know what it's like already because of my son being away for you know he was at he did like two three three tours in Iraq and. Uh, that was like the most, I don't know, the saddest thing in the world. It, it was like the most darkest thing in my life, you know, I'm not knowing it when my son was coming back or if he was coming back. But thank the Lord Jesus that he is back home and I love him so much and he, uh, he's, he's here. And, but not without shadows meaning the PTSD yeah it was it's you know so I don't want that for my grandson but I'm hoping that he will have a, a good experience so anyways moving right along um Today is the first day it's been really cool in Arizona and you're gonna laugh a lot of you're gonna laugh 
because the coolness in Arizona right now outside 65 it's cool I like it it's not cold it's it's very nice and cool and we live for this type of weather you know not for the heat but for this this time of year oh my god everybody's like yay you know we don't have to shovel the snow we don't have to um you know I mean, yes, we do have a lot of rain, though, uh, during the monsoon, and we have a lot of dust storms, especially where I live, because I live in the desert, but um, we're used to, excuse me, burp, <laughs> but we're used to it, so, yeah, um, I'm so excited, anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to let you go at this point after I made you guys just, I just talked up a storm, right? Oh, Lord. I'm just a chatty Kathy today. There's a Kathy chatty. Kathy, chatty Kathy. Chatty Kathy. <laughs> Remember those chatty Kathy dolls? Oh my gosh. I was so into Barb. Maybe I'm not going to let you go. I'm still talking. Um. Remember, remember those Chatty Cathy dolls? Remember the Mrs. Beasley dolls? Oh my God, I loved Mrs. Beasley. Okay, Mrs. For those youngins out there who don't know Mrs. Beasley, who she is or whatever, what you're like thinking, what the hell's a Mrs. Beasley doll? Okay, so a long time ago there was a show on a TV called um, what was it called? Oh my God, I don't remember now. It had a, a divorce or no, a guy, the mom died. So it was a single father with, and he had two twins and he had a teenage daughter and a butler. And the little girl, the youngest little twin, she was the cutest little girl. Um, her name was Buffy. Yes, Buffy. And, um, Oh, her, 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 her brother's name is Jody. It was Buffy, Jody, and the old, and the teenage girl was, I don't remember her name, but the butler's name was Mr. Oh no, I don't remember his name either. It's been so long. But anyway, the little girl had a little doll name, um, and she was, had little glasses, little square glasses, and her body was all like pink with little, um, with little white circles on it. It was just the cutest thing. Her name was Mrs. Beasley. I always wanted a Mrs. Beasley doll. I never got one. I never got one. I want a Mrs. Beasley doll. <laughs> I still want one. I was into dolls. I'm still into dolls. I love dollies. Um, but I'm just, you know, whatever girly girl, I guess. But I always wanted one, but I never got one. Me, 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 me. I did get a baby alive, I think. I think I did have a baby alive, which was okay. I, I liked the baby alive. That was, she was cute. But I was really super into, um, super into Barbies. I loved Barbies. Oh my gosh. It, anything Barbie. My mom and I, my mom and dad and I would go to the uh, remate, the um, what is it called, the um, the swap meet, and the swap meet was outside, and it was at a dog racing park. But every Saturday and Sunday they would, ha I think every Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember, or was it only Sundays? They had the swap meet, and people would go out there, and so people would have. I mean, a lot, a lot of stuff, right? Lots of stuff. And um, if there was anything that anybody was selling, selling Barbie, I'd be like, please, mommy, please, mommy, please, mommy, please. I want the Barbie dolly, t you know? I'd be like wanting the Barbie clothes or whatever. And people would sell it for so cheap, like a, like a dime for like a, you know, piece of, like for an outfit for a Barbie or whatever. So I was like in heaven. Because I was like, oh, yay, my dollies have new clothes. 
But I would also make my dollies clothes because I'm a seamstress at heart. Um, I make a lot of stuff too. Um, and I used to make my dolls clothes. And there's a cup. Did he see me? No, he didn't. Thank you. Um, so, let's see if it's turning. No, go, go. Yay, he's gone. Anyways, I'm speeding as always. But, um, yeah, I was always into the Barbie stuff. You know, I loved the And then I got into dancing, um, folkloric dancing, and that's a whole different story. So, no. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to let you go at this point because I'm, like, talking way too much. I want this vlog to be way too much. 20 minutes. Holy animals. Okay. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful, colorful day. Um, don't forget to look around you and enjoy all the colors of beauty because there's a lot of stuff out there to look at and to be grateful for and to just admire. Admire the beauty. Yes. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe. So I'm here at the, uh, Mar the what is this place called? Ranchero Market. And that's this tripe. And this is tripe for the menudo. That's the honeycomb one and that's the other one. Right there. If you guys haven't had tongue, it is so tender. So good. Oh my gosh. And that's, uh, what is that? Guts. These are oxtail. This is so good. Oh, so good. People. So good. Look at that. Pig feet. I don't eat those all, but it's kind of nasty. Look at it. And then there's, what is that? Octopus. Octopus. I don't eat octopus. Ooh. All kinds of seafood. Then the fresh camarones. The fresh, uh, what is that? Um, shrimp. Then there's baby octopus. Ew. I don't know, those are crabs? Candy. And then we have the candy. Coconut candy. The Mexican candy. What the heck is that? Is that a potato? It's from Costa Rica. And these are, I don't know what these are. I don't, I'm scared of those. I'm scared of touch those. All the different stuff in here. Then we're getting um, some of this. Hominy. And look how big this, um, I don't know what you call them. We call them chicharrones. So he's pig skin. Oh my god, it's so good. Time to eat. I don't know what I want yet. Oh my gosh, so good. So I bought this huge piñata, see? And I'm in the back of my brother's car. And, uh, yeah, we gotta take it home. <laughs> Say hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Snappies. Hi, Snappy. <laughs> <laughs>